All right, so this thing is set up to where I've got all the uh, unlocks going on. So it's set at two watts output, and I've got seven channels. I think it's on, yeah, it says channel seven right now. So at the time, I think it just had like the best signal with that channel. So this is not the best spot for like long range, but uh, you know, buildings around here are basically what I'm going to try to drive around. Uh, so you can see I'm parked to where uh, this is pretty much all Omnis, the Omni antennas. I've got, uh, I think, some true RCs, just some 5.8 gigahertz true RCs on the transmitter and just the stock Omnis or whatever they are, the stubbies on the uh, receiver. So I don't, I don't have like walk snail goggles. I'm just using the receiver module on the sky, sky zone goggles that I've got, right? You know, which pretty much works out. Um, so basically, I've set this so the bit rate is 25. Um, and I feel like you should get the longest range with that, at least as far as I know, with the walk snail. Whereas with the DJI, you want to have it set at 50 uh, megabits per second for the bit rate because then you'll get the longest range. But as far as walk snail, from what I can tell, you do get better range at uh, 25. So you can see, you know, not really far at all. Doesn't really have a hard time. But then right here, boom, drops down pretty low, right? So I can basically already tell just from that, it's not going to go around buildings, right? I've already tried a couple times. Um, different settings you know basically once I got this set up where I felt like it did have the best range still wasn't gonna make it around you know like a building <laughs> so it's not bad I say when I first played with it I thought like man I'm better off with just like a high power analog setup right but I'll say it, it does have its benefits um, for one the the uh, low lighting on it you know the handling of the lighting is way better some people I guess like the color of it you know you can see like the image does look pretty good but also if you really pay attention a lot of times you see like jagged edges right that's the only thing I'll say about the image quality um, it's like it doesn't have anti-aliasing or something like that right so it's not bad but you know looking at certain things up close you can really see the, uh, the like the, the pixelated edges and whatnot so I didn't want to keep going that way I thought it was going to get stuck but it wasn't doing too bad right the bit rate didn't really drop as I was going that way but I know it would have if I had gone a little bit further right because it doesn't take much building before this thing starts crapping out So, you know, you can kind of see like uh, going around a parking lot, don't really need to have line of sight. You know, you can put a fair bit of stuff in the way before you have to worry about it. But with this thing, it, it does like this weird swirly deal with the image when you start to drop real low on the bit rate. So you can see it, it'll, it'll often drop down to 14 like that. Then it'll go, you know, sometimes it'll hold at 7 once it gets down to about the 7 megabit uh, per second rate, you're like right on the edge, at least from what I can tell. Alright, so now I'm going to try to uh, go that way around these buildings. So basically I'm on the right side of myself now. So again, the uh, patches aren't going to you know, really do anything going down in this little dip here you can see the bit rates already dropping again still holding up you know again it likes to hold at this solid like 14 region shoots back up so you know not too bad not too bad come this way so when I go around this building right here see every little th thing that I put in the way now it's really really killing the signal
So as soon as I turn here, boom, drops down. Still holding it like the 7. But then, you can see I, I basically lose video right here. I just kind of like blindly keep uh, moving forward. I feel like maybe if I sat still, I might, you know, get it back. But you can see that's the limit right there. Again, that's, you know, like all the way to the right. Not really using patches. But I think, I, you know, I did turn my head at some point trying to get the video back. But it just wasn't happening right. I had to keep moving around that. Uh, whatever the hell that was, I had to keep, you know, moving around it to get the video back. So, again, we're not talking about very far, like, you know, a little over 100 meters, maybe, maybe 140, something like that. I'll say uh, this is the second one of these I've tested. <laughs> they, they both work about the same. This one does work a little better because I think the first one was messed up. All right, so now comes the 03. And just like the walk snail, everything's fully unlocked. FCC mode, you know, got all the channels. So this one's set to 50 megabits per second. And, uh, you know, as far as I can tell, again, that's how you get the longest range with the 03. And I'm basically, getting, you know, I'm going to try to drive around the same spots. Um, for one, I'm going to go around a building just to show. But I'm going to head down this way to where the uh, walk snail had some trouble. And I'm going to see what happens when I go around the same spot. So I'm sitting in the same exact spot, sitting in my car, looking straight. It's all the Omnis doing the work right now. And of course, as soon as I turn this corner, you can see it drop. But still you know pretty strong signal and right here is where I lost it with the walk snail so you can see I'm dropping down you know, about 10 there it's still nowhere close to losing a uh, video right come out here keep going further down you know behind this building so I think you know I've done it before I think I can just sort of like barely make it around here if I'm facing it using the patches then it's much better but you know, I'm still I'm already around the side of this building O3 really has no trouble at all and I already knew it, you know it could make it so that's when I say uh, when I started driving the walk snail immediately I'm thinking like man this is you know it's nowhere near as good as the O3 I guess they have their ups and downs and whatnot but you know you can see the Omnis, no patches involved. Now I can still, still does some decent penetration, right? So, since the Typhon, I think, can, it's not really meant for that. It can probably not get stuck back here. And uh, I figured I would try it. Try to hug along the side of this building and go all the way around it. Without getting stuck. Can't quite remember exactly how far I went with the walk snail, but I probably got, you know, somewhere to around this region and then turned around. But at that point, I didn't really see the signal drops. Same thing with the O3. Pretty strong signal. I am facing this direction, though, so the patches are also at work here. I think I even heard the, uh, ESC fan kick on at some point back here so it just doesn't like the slow crawling through this stuff it's not designed for that it's made for the higher speed on the road kind of you know maintains about the 30 or so around here so I can basically tell that I'm safe to keep going I already know I can make it around this building and um so long as I don't get stuck, then I shouldn't drop below like 10 megabits, something like that. So you can see it holds up pretty good. Had a little blip there, but you know, again, signal still holding pretty strong. 
still higher bit rate than I would get from the walk snail. Almost got stuck back here. Just like screw it, power through it. And boom, I'm on the other side of the building, right? So I didn't dip below 10. Just barely hugging on 10 point something right there, right? And this is like nothing for the O3. Coming over here, you see this guy uh, mowing the lawn? He's like, what the hell? So, strong signal, other side of the building, right? Then I just, you know, speed on back. And, um, you know, again, walk snail. As far as a test like that, it's not going to do it. That's not the biggest building I've been around either. So, the fact that the walk snail couldn't do it just kind of lets me know that's not going to be what that thing shines at. All right? It's going to be basically, in my opinion, I'm, I'm probably going to just try to use it for uh, nighttime driving. Alright, so here goes another walk snail test, but this time it's basically nighttime, right? It's hard to tell, but I think it's uh, the sun basically just went down. Um, I've got the camera set to nighttime mode. I didn't really need to, but it did, it did brighten it up just a little bit, right? So basically it looks like it's not even really nighttime, but the moon is out basically. <laughs> so this is moonlight, We've got street lights. Um, but I don't have a, I don't, I don't have any lights on from the car and, you know, it looks pretty bright. So if this was the DJI, it would just look completely dark right now. Like right here, I would need the light on to be able to see the street, but everything is pretty damn bright. So, all right. So this is just the, whatever camera that comes with the GT, it's like the pro or something. So once again, I'm not really that far at all, but I'm going to sort of dip around down here to where at this point I am going around the corner of the building and it's kind of dipping down a little bit. So you can see what it does. It's trying to hug on that like 14 or so. It's not too bad. I would say uh, I probably would. It would be kind of rough down here with uh, analog, but you know, still get the clear video with the walk snail. You see about this point, now it's hugging on like the seven and it's getting kind of sketchy, right? So this is the kind of thing like if I was going much faster, I just would have, the video would have just blanked out already. So I just went ahead and turned around because uh, that's pretty much the limit go this way same thing uh, you can kind of see it dips down and if you just kind of stop and give it a second kind of goes back up but again that obstruction of that little bit of that tiny little concrete wall right there is just too much for it so I've seen enough times already that the uh, the walk snail transmitter is just not the combination of stuff I'm using, I don't know. Other people might have different luck, you know what I mean? But for me so far, doing everything to where, except for changing the antennas on the receiver, it just doesn't seem all that great. Plus, I know, yeah, while I could get better signal changing the antennas, um, it's not going to be that much, right? It's not going to make it so all of a sudden now I can go around the building. It's just not going to work that way. So again, over here, everything looks real bright, and washed out almost. So I didn't really need to change the uh, camera setting. Up here is looking a little bit dark. This would be pitch black for the DJI. 
Again, haven't needed a light at all yet. And again, just a little more close range penetration testing. So again, you know, this is all the way up again, two watts. No problem really coming around close range stuff. And again, like these dumpsters. All right, just kind of for reference, this is the setup. That's the uh, transmitter, the walk snail, antennas, fan blown on it. And I've just uh, switched it into 2 watt max power. So that's what it ends up drawing. It takes a little while to kind of get all the way up. They say up to about 1.5 amps or whatever. So again, the first one I got was up to about 1.8 amps. And it just stayed that way until I uh, upgraded the firmware. So, long story short, this is the first one I bought. Ended up putting different antennas on it. But this one didn't work out right. Went through the same exact process. Everything looked like it was working. When I put it on the bench like this, it was just uh, immediately pulling like 1.8 amps, right? So we we'll go ahead and cut that off. And cut off my receiver over here. So anyway, this thing does get hot. Um, you know, it doesn't get that hot with the fan blowing on it, but you absolutely have to have a fan blowing on it because if you don't, you're going to be cooking bacon on it uh, in no time, right? So you saw, let's just say up to one and a half amps, 12 volts. That's about what they advertise. Um, didn't quite make it there yet, but again, I really wasn't going anywhere, wasn't recording. Uh, this guy. It wasn't until I tried upgrading the firmware on both this and the receiver yet again that uh, this sort of started acting right, right? Because I felt like, well, damn, if both of these don't act right, then that means the receiver's messed up. Uh, but they both have the latest firmware, went through the same process, and I can see that this one is acting proper, whereas this one's not so much. Once I upgraded the firmware on this one, it does seem like it wants to act closer to that one, right? But the uh, power consumption is not quite the same, uh, you know, when like scaling the different levels and whatnot. So anyway, <clears throat> I haven't actually legit did an output, you know, power test to compare between them. But I'll say actually what I get range-wise with this one was pretty similar to that one, although this one acts iffy. Um, another thing I noticed is like when the signal starts getting real low with this one, the screen starts getting real swirly, right? With that one, it's not so much. It holds up pretty good. So there are some <laughs> like major differences that I've noticed again, uh, but I really don't feel like I'll get anywhere with like a warranty or whatever. So this will just be a backup that I don't think works quite as good as that one probably pulls more power. Uh, needlessly right so whatever it is what it is but that is the setup so again 1.3 I was able to make play nice with that you can see it's just sitting right next to the other ones uh, you know fan blowing on that but live audio really no problems just the two batteries and uh, you know again aside from the poor penetration I guess you can say Works all right to me, I guess, right? Of course, here goes the goggles setup. Like I was saying, this walk snail receiver. Just stick it to these goggles I had. And uh, that's how I'm getting that. So it's not really fair because I hear the stock antennas on these are garbage. But I don't have yet any better ones. So do another test when I get some different antennas on here. But I don't really see much difference. Uh, I don't think I'm going to see much difference because, again... I don't really see how the you know there's supposed to be much comparison anyway because I think it's not so much just raw output power. DJI is just you know the the processing is just so much better, right? So again, still sticking with the DJI, but as you can see, uh, you can drive around at night way better. Like you know, 
pretty pretty low light damn near dark almost looks like broad day when you set it to the nighttime setting so that's pretty awesome